The 1975 playoffs began with an historical footnote. At the behest of radio analyst Myron Cope, over 30,000 Pittsburghers brought yellow towels to Three Rivers Stadium. Three decades later, Steelers fans all over the world still wave the terrible towel. Lynn Swan's favorite memory of the towel comes from a 1978 playoff game against the Denver Broncos. So the Steelers go in with plenty of offense and lots of defense, and it takes us back to those 74 and 75 teams, plus which the Steelers have that terrible towel going for them. Yep, this year we've had a revival of the terrible towel. And this carried the Steelers all the way in 75. It imputes great strengths to the Steelers and, if need be, poses mysterious difficulties for the enemy. You'll see thousands upon thousands of terrible towels waving out in those stands today. The terrible towel is poised to strike. So are the Steelers. I had that towel in my hand, and they were introducing the offense. And I was just flicking the towel on my leg, kind of a nervous habit, and they were getting ready to introduce me, and I had that towel, and I saw people just kind of standing up and, and the whole deal, and, and so I started waving the towel. I started just twirling it around in, over my head. All of a sudden, everybody in the stadium was standing up, waving that terrible towel. I ran out in the field, I remember jumping up in the air, and all of a sudden, the excitement of playoff football hit me. And we were ready to play this football game. And Myron Cope came down to me years later and thanked me. They said that was the beginning of the terrible towel. Uh, they said the fact that I came out and waved the towel and got the fans going, they thought that was the beginning of the terrible towel being a symbol for the Pittsburgh Steelers as we traveled around and played in other cities. Office, and we got the terrible time. Hey.